Welcome back to Intoxicated Opinions. In front of us is a lot of colors, a lot of cups. We have this letter here titled to Intoxicated Opinions. You going to read it for him? All right. Yeah. Oh. What? A, a original co- cocktail. <laughs> That's why I gave it to him. He's slow to read. Intoxicated Opinions. We're going to... We're so glad you enjoyed our old fashioned in Manhattan. We take great pride in crafting premium cocktails and sharing them with the world. Your next round is on us. Here's a few more classes we know you'll love. And we encourage you to compare them to the to the that other bottle cocktail brand. Sincerely, your bartender in a bottle. Hublin. That's Hublin, that's what you say? Yeah, ain't it? I would say Hublin. Hablin. Hoblin. It sounds like Hoblin. Sorry for messing up the name. Hey, I appreciate these people sending us free liquor. How about that? Yeah, because we didn't pretty much like the bottle cocktails with the... Uh, what was that? I threw them out. You threw oh, them yeah, out? You look around. I threw on them. the rocks. On the rocks. We yeah, didn't yeah, enjoy yeah, those yeah. much at all. Nah, nah. But I guess they seen us do one or two of these. From Manhattan. And we really liked them. Yeah. 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 So they sent, them, sent us these. All right, here we go. The pink one. Cosmopolitan. That's one of his favorites. Mai Tai. Margarita. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So what are we going with first? Uh, so, me personally, uh-huh. I would rather start out with the margarita. Okay. Just because not too many people do a margarita good. And yeah. so, I want that to be with a bar as far as where we go from there. Blanco. Triple sec. Natural flavors and certified color. Of course, right? Yes. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Smooth. This motherfucker just said smooth to a margarita. Smooth. <laughs> it's it is smooth. They ain't trying liquor. It's a margarita. No, but some margaritas that you get are not balanced as far as the taste of lime, the taste of tequila, and the sugar. All I said was smooth. That means it's balanced all three. What is missing here? Okay, so I'm a, I'm a margarita connoisseur. Kind of. Kind of. Ooh, the second drink. Hold on now. <sighs> Go ahead. I, 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 think I, I think just I just need salt on the rim. Oh, that's all you need? A little salt? Sugar? Spice and everything nice? All right, let me hear what you got to say. He does drink a lot of tequila. I do not. He claims he's Mexican, but I don't know. So it's not bad. Okay. I want to preference that because I think the other one was not bad neither. I don't think it's, it's, it's... Something is left to be desired. I can tell by the way you I don't think it's hard to mess. I don't think it's easy to mess up a margarita. Right. So I don't think the margarita is bad. Right. I just don't think for me it hits on the level that I need to hit on. So what's missing? There's only three parts of a margarita. Lime, tequila, sugar. Is it? Some people like to use a, a liqueur. So, That's in our tequila yeah. short, actually. Yeah. So, while it's not bad, I could see somebody buying this 20% alcohol by value. That's not bad. Uh, I think it's a little sweeter. Than you like. It's, yeah, yeah. It's a lot sweet. I like sweet. That's yeah, why so, I like it. So, that's why I say I, I, it's just a little sweet. For when me. I first sip it, it's like Kool-Aid to you. Smooth. The lime juice lingers on the end. So that's why like I the, wanted to start with that because the margarita. Then you got a baseline. Yeah, I got a baseline. Whatever that means. He got a baseline. Yeah, have you ever even had a Mai Tai? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had a Mai Tai. Made with Myers original dark rum. Rum, orange. What's that word? Caraco. Corsa. Maybe Coruscant. Okay. See why they <laughs> they gotta stop putting these non English words. Oh, I can't, I'm that's not gonna a, that's get an English word. The little squiggly line. No, there's no letter in the English oh. with a C with a squiggly line. And oh. lime juice. Okay. 
There it is. Have you ever had a Mai Tai? Yes. And I think all these are 20% by alcohol volume. Okay. I bet. Oh, this smells like tropical paradise. Yeah, the other one was very citrusy. It was very tart. Oh, man. This smells like a fruit bowl. Mm. This drinks like a cooler. It used to say why I cooler. Yeah. That's how sweet sweet and smooth it is. But I know wine coolers ain't twenty percent. So on this the orange flavor comes out a little more than on the other ones that we had on the rocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the orange flavor is a little more. I think the orange flavor on that was a little tart, a little citrusy. Well, too citrus. Tastes like a, 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 a tangerine. That's what it tastes like. <sighs> I don't drink mixed drinks often. Let's let's so, preface with that. So that's why I'm letting him lead this. Twenty percent by alcohol. Uh-huh. So the alcohol. I can see it. The alcohol is dumbed down in it. So it's not as much alcohol in it. So it's going to be a little sweeter. But as far as the Mai Tai taste, I, I do taste the Mai Tai in that more so than I did the other one. Okay. So I, I think they did very good on, on, on the, the Mai Tai here. I think it, it complements what a Mai Tai is. Surprising It's not as that. much like it's making an original drink just because maybe it's not the alcohol. And it's not fresh orange juice. Right. So, you know, you you get what you get in the bottle. I would say that. As close to it as possible. But the other one's nasty. It was trifling. I, I didn't like that. I, I don't remember. Like yeah. You know what? I'm going to put a link to that video in the description of this video. The pink drink. I don't know if I've ever had a Cosmopolitan. I have. I've never had sex on the beach, slippery nipple, none of those fancy drinks. Nipple never slip. No. Nothing like that. I don't know if I ever even had a martini. Have I ever had a martini? I don't think so. Wow. Oh, we had an espresso martini from Yard House. Fire. I've never had an espresso martini, but it was so good. Really? It, it was real good. I took okay. it. It's, it's on my picture on our Instagram. I thought I was the only one that posted on there. I don't smell anything, really. Vodka. Wheatley vodka. Not a lot of details with natural flavors. Uh, I'm surprised about that. I think that's my favorite. Out of these. This is your favorite? Yeah. And, and it's surprising. It's the Cosmopolitan. It's weird. I told y'all at the start of this video. I told him at the start. It's because it, it, it it's level. This is very level. Like it's mellow, it's not too sweet. It's not overbearing. It's got the vodka flavor, but it's also got the Yeah, because you know, usually usually vodka hits very hard, but this is just it's very mellow and it's not sweet. That and I think sometimes uh, cosmopolitan is very strong. Cosmopolitan cocktail. Let's see how to make this. Uh vodka. Contre. Don't we got that somewhere? Contre? No, I don't have Contre. Cranberry juice and freshly squeezed lime juice. That's it? Okay. You sure? You do too. It's right up there. You have that bottle right there. It's right there. Say the word again. Contre. <laughs> Coin tray. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? Go ahead. Pronounce it. <laughs> Contra. Okay. I said it pretty. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, okay. I, I didn't know. Mm. I don't know. I like the margarita out of these three. I know you do because it's sweeter. But I, I like the, I'm very much so a cosmopolitan. Like it's very level, very evened out, very smooth. It's it's something that I would definitely drink yep. and not feel like a drunk 
And I also wouldn't feel like a kid. When I drank the pink one, it, it's... I don't know. It just so makes all you me miss feel... is martini glass. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I would put that in a martini glass. Some people like olives with their. I feel like it's more sophisticated in my taste because I just drink whiskey at the bottle. So this is like, do I? I raise my pinky when I take a sip. Do I say of a martini. Thank you, Squire. A martini is a, a elegant drink. No, I'm talking about this cosmopolitan. Yeah, I feel like this is elegant. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I'm not an elegant person, though. Oh. Yeah. I just said I drink whiskey at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So baby. this might be a little bit too fancy. With the margarita, I can just get down with it. Mm. So, I, yeah, I, I, I migrate in all settings. So, <clears throat> you asking me what this? This is date night. Going to go to a cheap way, an efficient way. You got some martini glasses. Go here. Let's be like, hey, I made you some homemade Cosmopolitan. They would never know the go. difference. Summertime, my tie, bam! Throw that in the in a in a tall glass with a cherry on top. You got it. Pile margarita, salt and sugar. You take your pick. Throw it in the margarita glass. Maybe blend it if you like blend it frozen. Bam! You got that. All in all, if I rated these, I go this my least to my favorite. Okay. Damn, you know what? I wish I would have brought the other two we did. Oh, I like those. I know. Yeah, I did. I know. And I think I just, I think when it comes to a stiffer drink, I like those because they they give you that that whiskey feel. I'm trying to think, why does not Hugh Blind let us get some more drinks out of you? We want like the airplane. That's a drink, right? Yeah. Uh, we want the old fashioned. That's what we did. Yeah, we did. The we old do old fashioned. Yeah, Manhattan. We want the slippery nipple. We want sex on the beach. We want those <laughs> fancy drinks that I'm not going to take the time to make. But I, I, what I think they do is I think they made an assortment to where, because a lot of those I don't think would be good bottled. But I think the five that they chose are very. But I don't know if they, they make more. They just only send me mm, these three. You're right. So here's what I'm saying. I think the biggest competitor to Hublin bottled drinks is on the rocks because it's everywhere. It's very popular, although it tastes like shit. Yeah, right? I know. Um, I would just like to see. I want. Can y'all send me? If you asking us our opinion, a full pack for Christmas. You asking us our opinion about which one we're gonna go through. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, and it does. I, I'm not you. You can't buy my my opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm for sale. <laughs> yeah, he's for sale. So whether they sent it or not, I would have gave my honest critique, honest opinion. When I tasted it on the rocks, it was really. The margarita was the best, and that's only because it somewhat tasted like a margarita. Everything else was everything else, in our opinion, was basic and subpar at, at most. It was, yeah. it was it was bottom of the barrel. So, I think I think uh, what they did was they took what on the rocks was doing, they incorporated not only it, it looks like bigger bottles, but they also uh, I, I think they expounded on what they did and made it better. Bottled by Sazerac Company, Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you, Sazerac. Oh, we just did Sazerac, didn't we? We did a Sazerac yeah. Ra. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But I guess they got like departments. So this is like the Hue Blind department. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know I put two or two together. I didn't know. <laughs> I was like. You got to put it together. No, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, okay. Uh, distillery, you guys got departments. You just don't just give everything out. Anyway. Let us know your thoughts on this. We are going to put the link to the On the Rocks video. We lined them all up. Uh, we'll put that down below. We'll also put the link to the old fashioned we did with Hugh Blind. And I just don't recall the, the second one, but we'll put all those videos down below. Let us know your thoughts on these if you tried I think, it. I think these will sneak up on you. Are you feeling tipsy already? I'm feeling good. I can honestly say I feel good. I feel okay. great. All right. So I can, I can definitely. Here we are. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what it's about. So I, I yeah, I recommend this. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. We out. Peace. Peace.